Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on a spine-tingling journey to uncover some of the world's most mysterious and chilling tourist destinations. From an island of possessed dolls to a city of the dead, these places are sure to send shivers down your spine. So, join us as we uncover the secrets of these destinations. Let's go. Number 5. The Island of the Dolls, Mexico. Welcome to the Island of the Dolls in Mexico City, a chilling destination known for its eerie dolls. In the mid-20th century, its reclusive owner, Don Julian Santana Barrera, began collecting and hanging dolls here. After Barrera's death in 2001, his family opened the island to the public. It hosts hundreds of dolls, three huts, and a small museum. Inside, you can see the room where Barrera slept, with his favorite doll, Augustina. You can reach the island by Trigineras, gondola-like boats, which add to the mystique of the journey. The legend behind the dolls is haunting. Barrera found either a girl's lifeless body in the canal or failed to save her from drowning. The next day, he found a doll in the canal, which he hung from a tree as a talisman. Some even claim he found a second doll the following day. Speculation suggests that the girl's spirit began to haunt the island, prompting Barrera to collect more dolls in an attempt to appease her. Since opening to the public, reports of the dolls moving, whispering, and even opening their eyes, have added to the island's eerie reputation. The Island of the Dolls has captured the attention of media, including ghost adventures and lore. Even skeptics like Shane Maddedge from BuzzFeed Unsolved have been intrigued. So, if you're ever in Mexico City and feeling brave, dare to visit this spine-tingling place. It stands as a testament to human fascination with the unexplained and the eerie. Number 4. Italian Catacombs and Crypts. Our journey now takes us to Italy, where we'll explore two haunting destinations, the Catacombs of Palermo and the Capuchin Crypt. The Catacombs of Palermo are burial catacombs in Sicily, Italy. Today, they serve as a macabre tourist attraction and offer an extraordinary historical record. In the 16th century, Palermo's Capuchin Monastery outgrew its original cemetery, leading monks to begin excavating crypts below it. These catacombs house about 8,000 corpses and 1,252 mummies, lining the walls and divided by categories, like men, women, and children. The bodies are preserved in various states, with some even placed in poses, offering a unique and eerie spectacle. Initially, the catacombs were intended only for deceased friars, but later centuries saw it become a status symbol to be entombed here. Local luminaries requested specific clothing in their wills, and even had their outfits changed regularly. The catacombs were maintained through donations from the relatives of the deceased, ensuring their loved ones remained in their proper place. The Capuchin Crypt, on the other hand, is located beneath the Church of Santa Maria della Concisione dei Cappuccini in Rome, Italy. It contains the skeletal remains of 3,700 bodies believed to be Capuchin friars. The display, while seemingly macabre, serves as a reminder of life's fleeting nature and our own mortality. Number 3. Eastern State Penitentiary, USA. Eastern State Penitentiary, located in Philadelphia, is a haunting relic of America's penal history. This imposing prison, operational from 1829 to 1971, has a dark and eerie side that continues to captivate visitors. At its core, Eastern State was a pioneering institution, introducing the radical Pennsylvania system. This approach meant isolating inmates in solitary cells, each equipped with a glass skylight, symbolizing the eye of God. It aimed to reform prisoners through solitude, but it had its critics. The prison's design, with seven cell blocks radiating from a central hub, was revolutionary and became a model for prisons worldwide. Notorious criminals, including Al Capone and Willie Sutton, experienced its eerie corridors, and even Charles Dickens visited it. But Eastern State's history took a dark turn. Overcrowding issues led to the collapse of the solitary confinement system by 1913. Inmates were subjected to physical and psychological torture, including confinement in an underground pit known as The Hole. Today, the penitentiary operates as a museum and historic site, attracting visitors seeking a spine-tingling experience. 
Special events like Terror Behind the Walls offer a chilling encounter within its haunted confines. Eastern State Penitentiary's eerie past, combined with ghostly tales and unsettling art installations, makes it a must-visit for those drawn to America's creepy and haunted history. Explore the haunting echoes of this once-revolutionary prison, if you dare. Number 2. Hill of Crosses In the remote landscapes of northern Lithuania, an ominous presence looms just 11 kilometers from Sialii, the Hill of Crosses. Laden with thousands of crosses, this enigmatic mound harbors a chilling history, steeped in legends of the paranormal. Local folklore whispers of a church once standing here, struck by lightning during a tempest, sealing its occupants beneath layers of sand and rock. Locals claim that, during sunrise, ghosts of monks walk at the hill's base. Throughout history, eerie tales of mystical sightings and apparitions have haunted this desolate hill. Another legend dates back to the 1300s, when the hill served as a pagan castle platform. In 1348, it was destroyed by the Order of the Brothers of the Sword, leaving fallen warriors' souls to haunt the mound. A more renowned legend recounts a desperate father's vision, instructing him to place a wooden cross on the hill to save his ailing daughter. The miracle transpired, and pilgrims now leave crosses, seeking divine intervention. But not all crosses signify hope. Defying medieval sieges and Soviet oppression, the Hill of Crosses is an eerie testament to unwavering faith. The Soviets tried to erase it during the 1960s and 70s, but the crosses multiplied mysteriously in the dead of night. Today, this haunting site has more than 200,000 crosses, and welcomes pilgrims of all faiths. It's a place of eerie contemplation, defiance, and supernatural wonders. Before we visit our last creepy destination, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Number 1. The Door to Hell In the desolate Karakam Desert, in the heart of Turkmenistan, lies a haunting spectacle known as the Door to Hell, or Gates of Hell. This eerie phenomenon is the Darvaza Gas Crater, a natural gas field that collapsed into a cavern, engulfing it in otherworldly illumination from countless natural gas fires. The crater has burned for an unknown period, and its origins remain a chilling enigma. Located near Darvaza village, 260 kilometers north of Ashgabat, this sinister crater boasts a 60 to 70 meter diameter, and a menacing depth of around 30 meters. Nearby, another gas crater, obscured by a forbidding fence, exudes the stench of natural gas. The crater's history is cloaked in uncertainty. Some speculate it collapsed in the 1960s and was set ablaze in the 1980s to avert poisonous gas release. Others suggest Soviet engineers drilled it in 1971 as an oil field, but it swiftly collapsed, forming the crater, with gas ignition chosen to quell the danger. Despite efforts, the door to hell continues to burn. In 2022, the government planned to extinguish it due to health and environmental concerns, but that has not materialized. Instead, it has become a dark tourist attraction, aided by the region's 2013 Natural Reserve designation. George Kurunis descended into this infernal abyss in 2013, describing it as a coliseum of fire with a deafening, unobscured blaze. The door to hell remains a chilling testament to the unknown. Which of these creepy destinations would you like to visit? Let us know in the comment section. Until next time. Keep exploring.